Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you another great use for AI and your daily tasks. In this case, we are going to learn how to query a MySQL database with a limited knowledge. So let's say that our IT guy is out of work today, but I need to figure out how many sales we have by manufacturer. I've got the raw data here, but I don't know what to do. AI is going to help us. I mean, it's, it's so easy. It's basically three steps. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. And in later tutorials, I'll show you even how to build the database from scratch using AI. So it meets all of your requirements. There's so many great things we can do. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So now uh, let me show you what you need to do. Here I am in the PHP MyAdmin interface. I believe it's an old version of that, but it should work pretty much the same. The point is, down here is our raw data. And the basic steps of what we need to do is this. Tell AI how our data is set up, and then tell it the queries that we want to build. Then we can come back here and test those queries. So the first thing that we do is go to Export. And from here, we can export all of the data, so the rows, or we can export just the design of the table, also known as the schema. So under Export Method, let's click Custom and go down here to Structure. By default, it's going to say Structure and Data. So choose Structure. Then we don't have to worry about anything else. Hit Go. Once you do that, you'll get a file that looks somewhat like this. So we have create table and then a couple alter tables, depending on how your data is set up. And then there is a bunch of other data around it that explains what's going on. So table structure for table sales, indexes, and so on. But we don't have to slice and dice this. This is just so you kind of understand what it looks like before you get to this point. But now we can close it, go to AI, and then simply drag over that file, sales.sql, the file we just exported, and now we just tell it what query we want. Check it out. Make me a query to list the total number of sales by manufacturer and sort them with the highest first. Short, sweet, simple. Well, let's run it. After a few moments, here we go. Based on your table structure for sales, here is an SQL query to list the total number of sales by manufacturer sorted from highest to lowest. Now, if this is your first time seeing something like this, what I would recommend, since we are still dealing with AI, is just make sure that the very first word or the second or third word, depending on what you're doing, is select. You do not want update or delete, or that will update or delete your data. If you are selecting it, everything should be perfectly safe. We are just retrieving data to view it. And down here, just a little statement, this will count the number of rows per manufacturer. So once again, it repeats what it said. So we could make a lot of queries, but let's test this one. First, copy it. Go back to PHP My Admin, click SQL. And from here, I'll let us select this, delete it, and paste in the query. Then hit go. And look at that. A, B, C, 17, 17, 16. Which makes sense because there are 50 records and the raw data was generated randomly. So it should be pretty much evenly distributed. In another tutorial, I'll show you how to completely design and build your MySQL database from scratch using AI. But for this tutorial, I at least wanted to show you how helpful it can be. And I tell you, I use this all the time and you can do very complex queries. Just make sure it understands what your database looks like and it can pretty much build any query that you need to. And this right here will start to look like its own little program. That's how big the queries can get. So even though this tutorial is short and simple, this is a very powerful tool for analyzing your data. And it doesn't just have to be for MySQL. It can be for any database, ChatGPT, and 
probably all the other AIs are going to be able to go through it very well to get the queries that you need. So definitely give it a look and save yourself a bunch of time. And if you'd like to take our AI class in the future, we're working on it right now. Make sure to sign up for it below. And if you like this tutorial, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and give us a thumbs up. It will really help us out. But that's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.